Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of Tom Dog Plays. I am your host Tom Dog 247 and I sound a little hoarse because I ate a pony. Any <laughs> Anywho, um we're doing something cool. We're um we're going back onto uh to uh some Jackbox games. Um if you remember a while back I did uh Fibbage it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun doing that. And a uh, big shout out to uh, Michael Builder. Um, Mike Builder, whoever, for those of you who don't know, he's the general manager of Jackbox Games. And a uh, and, uh, big, big shout out to him and everything like that. So um, so I figured since um, I was saving up to, uh, to get the Jackbox uh, party pack. And I'm... S so happy to pick this up and I love it. I absolutely love it because the fact that you have you don't know Jack and I'm having a lot of fun. I was having a lot of fun with that, so um it was on <laughs> funnily enough I was on sale. So um gonna have a lot of I'm gonna have a lot of fun and uh, hopefully we're gonna get some people joining in and everything like that. I would be really cool. I would love to see that. And uh, get the party going and everything like that. And by the, by the looks of everything, you have a choice of five games, and we're gonna pick one of them. And it's not gonna be up to me. It's gonna be up to you, the Twitch audience that's watching right now, on what you would want to see me play, and perhaps maybe join in. And I have bottled water here, and I'm. Putting in some liquid flavor into this little oh yeah Kool-Aid. <laughs> so, um, just to give uh just to give up a head speed, to what's go what's been going on? The Macho Man Randy Savage has been inducted inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Not going to talk a bit about we're not going to talk about that today. But we will on my Channel X show, which will be in a couple of weeks when we uh, when we do cover WWE 2K15. So um, we're gonna do a special Royal Rumble episode with that. We're gonna have a lot of fun with that. So um, just. A, give up the speed of what's been going on um next week i will be getting my loot crate so expect to see a loot crate unboxing for to kick off 2015 first of 2015 so we're gonna have a lot of fun with that and nice and sweet like that so if um there's still there's still time to to subscribe to this and if you haven't done it done so you're gonna miss out on on a lot of on a lot of good stuff this uh this month so don't don't miss out on that you're gonna have a lot of fun um and but yeah but this is what it's all about right there the jackbox party pack um, let's get started. So, I'm scrolling around. Hey, Dread, how are you? We are going to pick all these, and we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun. So, we have a choice from you don't know Jack 2015, Fibbage XL, Lice Water, Word Spud, Drawful, and that's about it. So. Now I'm going to be doing this throughout the whole video because of the fact that, you know, the whole music thing and everything like that and, you know, don't want to play no music and and have Twitch mute me and everything like that because I think it's a mutiny. <laughs> so, little the little pun right there. So So it's up to you guys the viewers of 
what you want to do and perhaps maybe join in and have some fun with it too so and we're gonna have a lot of fun with this because you know I love I love the Jackbox games and my very you know the very first one was of course you don't know Jack and that's going all the way back uh, to the mid, mid to late 90s and back when I had Windows 96 so and I haven't looked back at at it since and uh yes yes we can play um okay jay hi welcome jay and uh we got fibbage fibbage xl that's one vote and uh yes you could play uh, we could play we could play together on the jackbox um if you have a tablet or a cell phone you'll be able to you'll be able to uh play along with play along with me so not just so it's not just going to be me playing with myself it'll just be uh, everybody out there on twitch land that um, that's going to be joining in so far we only got one so far we have one vote and that's uh, for fibbage and so let's get these votes going and uh, join in and have some fun you know we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun so tablet tablet is good me and my, okay, so that uh, okay, two votes for Fibbage. Okay, so we're gonna count uh, J and Mrs. J. <laughs> Thank you for watching. So um, and welcome aboard to a load of fun that we're going to be bestowing on here. Yeah, that's fine. I I understand. You know, it's understandable that you know you won't be able to talk to me because. That's how it is on Twitch. Uh oh, uh oh. Did I play a song? Uh oh. I hope they didn't mute me. No mutiny. <laughs> no mutiny. <laughs> so. so, so far we have two votes for Fibbage. So, come on, Dread. What um, what game do you want to see played? Maybe you uh, maybe you win. Maybe you won't. But either way, we're all gonna have a lot of fun. So. Gonna start download. Oh no, you won't be able to. Um, you be as long as you have you you won't. It's not a download. Um, what it is if you go on Jackbox uh, Games dot uh, Jackbox Games dot com. There's gonna be a password. You'll be able to. Um, there's gonna be the website right on here. Uh oh, no mutiny. <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll be able to. Uh, there's going to be a little um, passcode. Okay, so we have two for Fibbage, two for Jack. So uh, you don't know Jack. I. Um. So we have we have two for you don't know Jack and two for so it's a tie between you don't know Jack and Fibbage. So let's see if we can break that tie. Let's see if we can do that. What about it on, on your smartphone? Yes. Yes, you'll be able to play on your smartphone. Okay, three for Jack. Three for Jack. Or tablet, yes. You can uh you can use your tablet or your cell phone. Doesn't doesn't matter. Um you'll be able to you know, your smartphone and tablet, you'll be able to use that. And so right now we have three for Jack and two for Fibbage. Let's see. Let's see if we're going to get any more people coming in and uh, try to get some votes. And okay, all right. So it's official. We are going to play Jack. Startup game has been activated. Okay, there it is, right there. Um, since I'm not going to play uh, single player, we're going to go to multiplayer using mobile devices. So if you have a mobile tablet, mobile or a tablet you'll be able to uh, play along with me. So since we're going to be in multiplayer, all right, there it is right there, Jackbox TV. There's the room code right there, TGYB. And I just uh, dropped my phone. All right. I am going to, I'm going to put in my login code. 
Oh, excuse me. Hello. No, I don't think it works. Okay, Mrs. J is in. Okay, four letter. Hey, gang. Have you felt tired from hey, all that racket? Jackbox and TV. From Jackbox music TV. We're not going to start yet until. Until everyone's to ready. To have the okay. Music festival, T. Like Darn plays real music. G. Mature adults and grown-up older people. Y. Like all of us M. P. And you can okay. enjoy. Then come on down to the Hutchinson Community Oops. Park for Jaron Tala Palooza. Help if I put in we my got name. Jerry Gorkin's medium-sized band, the Waltzaholics, assorted Bob Hope impersonators, the sounds of the Price is Right, the music. Tom Dogman. Wind chimes, bingo, okay, coffee, we have two more spots left where you don't know Jack. That play music. All the fun times and goings about begins at 7 a.m. this Thursday. And don't you worry, Missy, it's over by 2. So you have plenty of time to on, Dredd, you know you want to come in and play. The dealers come out and deal their, their drugs. Take it from me. On, there's two oh, spots man. open. Hey, can I take this microphone home with me? Huh? Do what? Yeah, okay, I'll just put it down. Anton Jones was the greatest detective in the world. I noticed a gray speck on your jacket, which could only have come from a quarry upstate. Gentlemen, the murderer is the mayor. But after a terrible accident... I'm afraid his body won't make you it. Use your smartphone That's, or your tablet. Doesn't matter which. The greatest mind in the world. Don't need to download anything. You just gotta go on Jackbox TV. Jackbox no! TV. And with the help of a friend, he'll crack the case and, and be able to uh, Don't you play see along. You? There's no way his wife could have killed him. That's great. But how much should I leave for this tip? Oh, uh, 15 Mr. J, okay, Mr. J is in. Come on, Dredd. From the of Tommy Gulch, attorney get stripper, it. comes Calculator Jones, P.I. Any last words, Calculator Jones? Boobs? <laughs> oh, I got one more spot left. Three, police. I'll be back on the street in no time. Then I guess I'll calc you later. Cookie, that first breathalyzer was inconclusive. One more spot left. <sighs> okay, listen to me. I'm gonna need a jug of beet One juice, more, Dredd, some WD-40, and a bag of peat moss. Stat. If we could clear all of the children from This the is J number one, Mr. J number three, Tom Dog, your, your friendly neighborhood Tom Dog number two, because I am the shit. So, <laughs> come on, number four. Come on, I don't want come to on, Dredd. Anyone, but in the hallway, there's a dog running on two legs. He's on two legs and he's running down the hallway. So if everyone could just get under their desks, we'll be fine. Hi, I'm John Taylor, and starting today, get a free Got suit. Got one more spot John available. Dredd! All right. Wow, how do I get a free suit? You are in. Just Everybody's in. And we are ready. Welcome to the game, I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, and I hate to toot my own horn, but... Oops, sorry, that wasn't mine. There we go, that one's mine. Four players. Don't people ever sit around and play cards anymore? You all take care of those screws now. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button, and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Kale Mart. If you find a single thing in our store that is not associated with kale, it's free. Kale Mart. We don't even know what kale is, and we don't care. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong good. answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> okay, let's light this sucker. That's okay. That's okay. All you have to do is just watch me. <laughs> watch First the uh, up, male Twitch. enhancement. Just taking a moment to open my You're mail. Online. Something I like to do every couple of years. Hmm, probably should have paid that. Ah, an old Christmas card. Well, let's see what it says inside. 
Well, it's been a big year for the whole family. Junior learned to drive, mom changed jobs, and dad started a drug empire cooking and selling high-quality methamphetamine. Hmm, what TV family is this Christmas card from? The greens, the browns, the blacks, or the whites? <laughs> Hey, lock in your answers. Y, X, A, or B. Watch your clock. Oh, honestly. Why, yes, this card is from Walter and Skylar White and their son Walt Jr. from the show Breaking Bad. And I'd read you the rest of the letter, but it's full of spoilers. Player two? Well, looks like you're not getting the green this time. We'll have plenty of green soon with this brand new kale coffee maker from Kale. Yep. Enjoy a piping hot right. cup of kale in the morning because apparently now kale is a thing that everybody's talking about and eating, and you can't escape it. So you might as well just put it in your fucking coffee. <laughs> this wrong answer of the game just gets you an extra four thousand smackers. Congratulations. Here's a good one. Positive feedback. What might you hear from a kingfisher that's fishing for compliments? So did anybody notice I just got my scales waxed? So did you guys see I'm you wearing can just watch, my fur watch, uh, differently? My oh, so if you're watching on Twitch, like you'd be able to see it on tattoo? here. Or isn't anybody going to mention my new feather do? How much time left? I'm taking a guess. Players two and three. A kingfisher is a type of bird. You know, those things with feathers. Wow, talk about a needy, insecure bird. Oh my god, it's been 15 minutes. Somebody tell me I'm handsome. Interns, somebody tell Mr. me Jay I'm handsome. Mr. Jay is on the board with You're $54. Handsome, dollars. So handsome, Mr. Masterson. Oh, let's never cut it that close again. Try this on for size. Lucy in the sky with rubles. And oh yes, it's a dis or dat. Player four? I like what you're wearing today, so you get to play this dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven quotes totally out of context. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's uh. something said by legendary pop star Elton John or something said by Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. If it was said by Make sure by you're using your smartphone John, or your tablet. Press the X button. If it was said by Vladimir Putin, press the B button. Now the rest of you should listen carefully. Choose an answer before player four, and if player four gets it wrong, I'll split the cash among everyone who got it right. Alrighty then, here it comes. I do like Britney Spears, I think she's cute. Fred, where are you, buddy? We gotta, gotta hit either X or B. On your smartphone or tablet. I'm deploying troops to your score. Look, there is a lot of political turmoil in the world. We must trust Elton John's song, The Circle of Life. It's a simple philosophy that says this. No matter what happens, we can rest assured that one day, Vladimir Putin will be eaten by a lion. <laughs> Four. Say hello to... I hunger for love. If each member of the Hunger Games love triangle brought something different to the relationship, which of these arrangements would actually result in Katniss catching fire? Katniss brings air, Peter brings friction, and Gale brings time. Katniss brings friction, Peter brings fuel, and Gale brings inert gas. Katniss brings heat, Peter brings time, and Gale brings oxygen. Or Katniss brings heat, Peter brings fuel, and Gale brings oxygen. Fit, um... Make sure you're on your uh, smartphone or tablet there, Dreddy. Player two? Um, really? But you push either uh, the buttons Player that's one. on your uh, smartphone you screen. The day. You should look like Player this. Three? 
The so-called fire triangle outlines what is needed to start and maintain fire, which is heat, fuel, and oxygen. Remove one, no fire. But I'm sure you could get rid of PETA and it would still be hot. May I introduce one show down, 14,312 to go. I usually get these roses. On the, the and I'll here. throw some extra roses at you for a right answer. Put these Broadway musicals in order of longest to shortest original <coughs> runs. Grease, <coughs> Rent, Spamalot. Rent, Grease, <coughs> Spamalot, Spamalot, Rent, Grease, Rent, Spamalot, Grease, or Grease, Rent, Spamalot. <coughs> <coughs> Time's almost up. Uh. Player two. <laughs> uh -oh. Next time, try this. Opening in 1996, Rent ran for 12 years. Grease opened in 1972 and ran for eight years. And Spamalot opened in 2005 and had a five-year run. You gotta make sure that you're using your smartphone. You gotta play on your smartphone or tablet. 33 straight years. Hard to believe, but true. Good for them. You don't need to worry about going on the Xbox or anything like that. That's all we got you for just, um, one. And player two just watch the, the screen if you're on a computer. Soon. You'll be Remember, able to watch uh, watch this, and you'll see two. the questions on there. Use and your tablet use or screws. your smartphone, you win, and you can you? Uh, you'll be able to play. Jackbox TV and the pet um. Here we have Chucky balls. And TGYP is the Chuck room e. code. Cheese. Especially those big ball pits with all the colorful balls that I uh, uh kids jump around in. So tell me this. Imagine, just hypothetically, that each color ball in a Chuck E. Cheese ball pit were a different virus. When you dive in, which ball could you definitely not come into contact yeah. with? A ball that causes polio, a ball that causes herpes, a ball that causes rabies, or a ball that causes plague? Watch the time! Okay, cool. Cool. Using their high player two. Okay, old yeller, let's go out to the barn. <laughs> One right answer. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Herpes, <laughs> Mr. J, you are, are in the lead with 1,541. Plague is caused by a bacteria, so none of those virus balls could give you plague. Plague is spread by rodents, but luckily not singing animatronic rodents like the ones you find at Chuck E. Cheese. Hey, anyone want to go to Chuck E. Cheese after the game? Question seven. Coming up next, Leafy Laughter. Imagine an episode of Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis being filmed with a set of two new freshly sprouted ferns. Based on the name for fern sprouts, what might be a better name for that episode? Between Two Saplings with Zach Galifianakis, Between Two Pup Shoots with Zach Galifianakis, Between Two Fronds with Zach Galifianakis, or Between Two Fiddleheads with Zach Galifianakis. Watch the clock! Player two, let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> Player three, ah oh, crap. I'm gonna vote die on this one. <laughs> no, no, I'll get this. A fern sprout is called a fiddlehead based on its shape, which resembles the top of, you guessed it, a fiddlehead. And like Zach Galifianakis, they take about 40 years to fully blossom. <laughs> This one's known as Escargo for Margo. Okay, guys, I've got a theory, and I think it's pretty solid. Follow me on this. The movie Key Largo came out in 1948, and the next major Argo movie was Fargo. So there may have been a secret Argo embargo. Ergo, how long was the next Argo embargo between Fargo and Argo? Seven years, 12 years, 17 years, or 22 years? <laughs> Time's a-wasting! Player three? Whoa! 
Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Players one and two. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Let me show you oh, something. Shit. Fargo came out in 1996 and Argo in 2013. Ergo, a 17-year Argo movie embargo. <laughs> and you know what never went out of style that entire time? Cargo pants. I'm actually using an iDroid. <laughs> I call this one to be or not to be Arthur. Hi, this is Corky. And how about them Golden Girls, huh? Old man, what the hell are you doing? Get away from the microphone. But I need to ask a question. G give me, oh, damn give it, it uh, give me that. No, I Listen to me, you stupid old. Give, old give it to me. Ow. <laughs> What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that screwy up to do, do? It's Foggy Facts with old yeah. Man. Yeah, there's a little delay. I forget. All right, all right! Because I'm playing on Twitch. Just one question, and then you are out of here. Okay, two questions, great. One question! All right, all right, don't get your panties in a... Whatever. I'm just trying to remember this one thing. Hmm. Dread, you out there, I'm buddy? I'm trying to think of this lovely singing gentleman. He was friends with those Muppet puppets, and he lived in Colorado. He talked to God in all those movies, and then he died in a plane crash. Now he's probably talking to the real God. <laughs> Who the heck was that guy? Okay, was it Engelbert Humberdink, Jim Croce, Harry Belafonte? or John Denver. Hey, there you are, Dredd. Got an Where answer? For, how about it? Player three? Oh. Hey, way to be wrong. <laughs> Player one. Day no. Day no. <laughs> Player two. Yes, old man, it's country folk singer-songwriter John Denver. You're talking about John Denver. I'm not talking about him, you are! Why were you trying to remember John Denver, old man? I wasn't. What are you talking about? You just commandeered this game to ask a question about him. Who? John Denver! <laughs> Never heard of him. Toodle boy! Ah! <laughs> Buck her up for menage a treat. Who would not be invited to a Neapolitan threesome? Vanilla ice, strawberry shortcake, the band Sexual Chocolate, or Liz Lemon? Watch your time! Player three? Stop. Collaborate and listen. You're wrong. <laughs> Player two? Neapolitan ice cream consists of chocolate and vanilla, but not lemon. So Liz Lemon would not be invited. <laughs> Remember, approaching a threesome is just like eating ice cream. If you go at it too quickly, you might damage the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. Two thousand bucks if you're right. Or as I like to, to call the Ponzi button. If you're wrong. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Watch this Peter P. Who's the Peter P? The luck.
funny. We used to have a... In my town, there used to be a uh, factory. Houses. Maybe just a simple cake that reads, You don't know Jack! <laughs> okay. Hey, we're ready for another game. Do another I game you don't know Jack. And not to brag, but the cashier at Trader Joe's complimented me on my choices today. Four players. That's surprising. Um, you realize you don't win real cash, right? Everybody's got their screws. You can force another player oh, to okay. answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra right, gotta... bonus dollars. All right, we're gonna have to. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by the Anti-Pedestrian Council. Hey, I'm trying to drive here, is our motto. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> okay, let's See begin. Can... Alright, we'll we'll wait for we'll wait for you. How how's that sound? Take a little take a little quick break. <laughs> So yeah, that's what it's all about right there. You um saw log right log right in and everything. Um We're gonna we're gonna do another uh passcode. But we'll wait we'll wait for uh we'll wait for everyone to come back. Okay, we have a new room. Uh, new room code. Okay. Welcome that okay. one guy. Uh, is anybody listening to me right now because my mom's here and she What happened there? I don't know what happened there. We are on. Okay. Try this again. Okay, mom, come on. You can do this. You need this job. Just turn your brain off and keep going. Is my mic on? Tina, I don't know how to say this, but we're not going to be celebrating you on Secretary's Day. I don't Hey, welcome back, that one guy. Can you not sit on top of my desk? Dread, you leaving? Just looking at your body. Well, that's what I wanted. Everybody, we're back from lunch at five. We're back from lunch at five. So please finish what you're eating. Piddle paddle. That's right. Hey guys, what you playing? Piddle paddle. Piddle paddle. Can I play? Sure. Just roll the dice. And. Piddle paddle. That's right. Piddle paddle. Just roll the dice again and. Piddle paddle. That's right. So I just move my piece around the board after I roll the dice and. Piddle 
Piddle-Paddle. Wow, you landed in the Rainbow Castle. You're a natural. Yes, Piddle-Paddle. It's the hot new game that everyone's dying to play. Woohoo! Hey, we got so two more spots open if anybody wants to join in. Piddle-Paddle! What? No. Log what in you on your smartphone piddle, or your tablet. Are you trying to be funny? Typical and you type piddle. in uh, jackbox.tv. Type wedding. in the room code, piddle, which is right paddle. there in the middle of the screen. And, uh... Introducing you will join your face's in. new best friend. Say goodbye to dry skin and wrinkles. Bye. Goodbye. See ya. Say hello to healthy, radiant, beautiful skin. Well, hello there. Oh, hey. Hi. Because you're never too old to look 10 years younger. Yes, please. Yes, please. All new virgin blood face mask. I can feel it working already. No harsh chemicals, just 100% all natural blood from a dying virgin. And a pinch of black magic. Shh, don't tell anyone. What price will you pay for youthful skin? Anything. 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 Kill her. Virgin blood face masks, only $10.99 a bottle. That's actually really reasonable. Has anyone seen Nate Shapiro? He hasn't come into the office in like 15 years. Yeah, we're playing. We're on. Uh, those are coming in. For those that are coming in, you are watching Tom Dog plays on Twitch. You have. Uh, we're on Jackbox Games. Party pack, and we're playing, and we're playing. You don't know Jack. Pardon me. Got two more. We got two more people. Hi, my name's Terry, and if you're gonna die, we have two more. Come on down to more Cemetery people to come on in mortuary. and join in. I hit it, guys. Where do you go when someone needs to be buried? Cemetery. Single plots or double. More spots open. We'll bury you deep and we'll pack the dirt firm. Our caskets are airtight to keep out the worms. We'll water your grass, treat your headstone with care, and that's about it. Cause you ain't going nowhere. I am Cookie Masterson, and not to we're brag, ready yet. but the cashier at Trader Joe's complimented we're waiting for two me more on people. my choices today. By the looks of you two, I'd say smart money is on the under. And there's your hardware. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... The Anti-Pedestrian Council. Hey, I'm trying to drive here, is our motto. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. And we're off. Get ready, time for fashion. One. To get started, she mused me. If Taylor Swift broke up with every male currently in the world, about how many songs would she be inspired to write? 1.2 billion songs. Player one, you've been screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. Player two, you handle that screw very well. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Player two. The world population is floating around 7.1 billion, of which 3.6 billion are males. That only gives her a few microseconds for each relationship, but that should be more than enough. Next up, this question got stuck in my teeth. Who's hungry? Cookie fortune, cookie fortune. Okay, <clears throat> this one's a bit violent. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Okay, so I won't shoot anybody until I see their, uh, 
their um, their pupils, their irises, their retinas, or their scleras. <laughs> Player two, watch the time. Player one. Uh oh. Oh shit. Want to see the answer? Right. The white of your eye is called the sclera. But don't look too long at the enemy's eyes, or you might just fall in love. And now, Cookie Masterson, the vocab guy. If Bill Nye the Science Guy learned nigh everything there was to know about science, what would be true of him? He would know nearly everything about science, he would know very little about science, he would know exactly everything about science, or he would know nothing about science. Player two, you're screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. Damn, that time just flew by. Player one nicely screwed. Don't stop there, get some more cash. Player one. I'm not sure about Bill Nye, but I can think of at least one person here who knows very little. Want to see the right answer? Nye means near or nearly. Oh, yeah, that's right. The reason why Bill Nye doesn't know everything about science is because he refuses to accept the Cookie Masters and Unifying Theory of Quantum Mechanics as the scientific fact that it is. But I guess people fear what they don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Take a good look at Your Mother Smells Like the Jungle. What are you most likely to see Tarzan scrambling to buy at the last second on Mother's Day? A banana bouquet for Coco, banana candies for Collop, banana perfume for Chim Chim, or a calendar of banana pictures for Abu? Player two, watch that clock. Player one, Kala is the female ape who raised Tarzan in the jungle. His dad wasn't around much. He was too busy sitting around patting his chest with the backside of his hand every couple of minutes. <laughs> Five fingers! Open wide for obesity the game. And it's a dis or dat. Player one. Looks like you've got some catching up to do. This this or that is all yours. I'm gonna read off seven acronyms, and for each one, tell me if it's a type of healthcare plan or a type of video game. If it's a healthcare plan, press the X button. If it's a type of video game, press the B button. Player two, choose your answer before player one, and if player one gets it wrong and you get it right, that cash is yours. Okay, let's move. HMO! MMO! Oh shit! PO! POS! FPS! RTS! MOO! That was a big B O O. I can't afford to see a doctor, so I've just started asking the 12-year-olds I play Call of Duty against online for medical advice. They said I should go f*** myself. They also called me an asshole, but my rash cleared up. <laughs> Round one is in the books, and it looks like player two has the lead. Who knows what might happen? Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And remember, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer to the game. Okay, we're bringing it on. Next, Pussycat Control. Oh my god, my cat's poopsy and mayonnaise are driving me crazy. And what do I get from them? Nothing! If my cats were like the cat in the fairy tale Puss in Boots, what would they do for me? Grant me three wishes, help me kill a witch, impress my boss and get me a promotion, or help me break an ancient curse? Player 
two clocks are ticking. Player one. Whoa. Whoa. Why didn't you pick this? In Puss in Boots, Puss makes his master look good in front of the king, which results in him marrying the king's daughter or becoming royalty. Why don't you two idiots ever do anything like that for me? I haven't had a promotion in years. I have not been stealing office supplies. Those are complimentary, damn it. <laughs> How about... That evidence was planters. If Mr. Peanut wanted to make some marzipan, which of his other nut friends could he grind up to produce the central ingredient? Mr. Hazelnut, Mrs. Almond, Miss Cashew, or Senor Brazil Nut? <laughs> Player 210's running out. Player one. Bless you. Here's what you meant to pick. Oops. Marzipan is a confection made from sugar, eggs, and ground up Mrs. Almonds. Regular almonds work too. But Mr. Peanut would be found not guilty because he's a total n See, you thought I was gonna say nut, didn't you? No, it's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. No one would believe the murder thing. <laughs> Follow me down to the sea. This one's called, Where the Buffalo Foam. You know, I'm having a pretty good day, which means... Hello, Danny. Yep, there he is. One's made of skin, <laughs> one's made of wood, so... Who's the dummy? Not me. Billy, why are you foaming at the mouth? I've got rabies and I've come to date you. What? Stay away from me. Did you get bitten by a rabid animal? Nady. Which of these animal dites could not give me rabies? A diver dite, a non-goose dite, a king cobra dite, or a dadger dite? <laughs> Player two, do something. Player one. Sweet dreams. Here's what a right answer looks like. Rabies only affects warm-blooded animals, not reptiles. <laughs> Besides, you can't get diseases like this, Billy. You're made of wood. Really? Then how did I get syphilis? That's a good point. <laughs> Here's one I like to call, Yoko has no remorse. What Beatles album am I describing? Let it be Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road, or Help. Player two clocks a ticket. Watch how easy this is. Dot 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 dash 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 dot 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 in Morse code is SOS, the international distress call. Of course, if the Beatles ever got stranded, they'd need help from somebody, but not just from anybody, picky bastards. Player one. You mean the album with the Beatles on the crosswalk? No. But you can gently bump crosswalkers out of your way with... A memory foam car bumper from the Anti-Pedestrian <laughs> Council. The Anti-Pedestrian Council. Because walkers. Am I right? This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. Take a stab at... F this. How would you read comedian Will Forte's name if it were accompanied by the musical notation Forte? Will Forte! Will Forte. Will Forte! Or Will Forte! <laughs> Player two, watch the time. Player one. No! 
This would have worked. In music, forte means played loudly. Unlike Will Forte's quiet and nuanced performance in his Oscar-nominated film, MacGruber. <laughs> Step right up to the jack attack. Ah, you already know the rules. Off you go. The prodigy's son returns. They were prodigies in what area? Oh, shit. Got it! Excuse me, Player 2, did you say something? No, I didn't think so. Because after somebody kicks your butt like Player 1 just did, there's only one thing to say. You don't know Jack! <laughs> Alright. Okay, I think we're going to do okay, one more on. game, Just a quick reminder, and uh, that is the room code. Lately, even though he clearly hasn't. So this telecommuting thing, I mean, are people getting sick of Andy being on the TV? Shouldn't he be here? Well, I mean, that's why, I think, I mean, that's why I'm hoping this telecommuting thing works, because then, you know, once they can figure out how to get the the ions and the, the particles, and then you can, right, like in Star Trek, is that what you're talking about? No, he's just on the TV on a camera. He's not actually here. Right, but he's, it's part of the tele, he's trying to, what they're trying to do is zap him. Okay, we have three spots available. Use your smartphone or your tablet to log into Jackbox boy, TV, to and there is player. the room well, code right there in the I'm center of the screen, and, going nowhere fast. and so you can join I'm in with me or play one, uh, I'm going to play one more we game. We only have three rules. One, everyone's welcome regardless of gender or race. Two, every team starts with five runs so they don't feel bad. And three, every Tuesday night we trade spouses and experiment sexually. Okay, okay, you probably just said, I can't believe what I just heard. You start with five runs? Tryouts are this Thursday at 6 in my backyard, with a small tickle party starting at 9. Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. I can't wait to meet you. Come on down to Barbecue Street all week for some great deals on food and fixes. Mondays, You're just tuning in. This is Tom Dog Plays. I am your host, Tom Dog Two Four Seven, and whatever buffalo blasted chicken wings we're going to be playing some Monday. You Don't Know Jack, Wednesday, we've got part of the Jackbox uh, party packs. Ribs. 
But make sure to come and back on Thursday for six percent It's an awesome game if you haven't if you haven't Mondays left over buffalo blasted um, chicken wings downloaded and it yet. I, you're missing out on some on some really good fun times here. And, and, and all you need is your smartphone or your mobile device. And you're not gonna want to miss Saturdays. Uh, and you can join in in ten bucks just to join in play. And we're we're just gonna have a really really good fun time with this. So. Oh, excuse me. So we're gonna have time for time for one more game. Uh, quick shout out to. Uh, it's about time. No, what 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 should I do with this barrel? Does anyone know how to fix the copier? Also, I'm I'm covered in blood. Hey, check the microphone. Test one. Silence all chewing on set. We are picking up some slight chewing. It sounds like a bubble gum or a gummy candy of some sort. Oh, no. Silence all chewing, please. Hello, oh, I'm on the microphone. Oh, Who's too close? Did anybody else see what happened in the copy machine room? Because there's blood everywhere. Okay, and can we get a silent trumpet fanfare for the king of space? There are no sounds in space. And now, relax into Downward Dog. Ooh, what's wrong, Susan? Is this yoga class too hard? No, I had a burrito for lunch and I'm feeling gassy. Honey, this is Sweet Relief Yoga Studio. We don't hold anything back. Now, swing your foot into Warrior 2. Whoa, did she just? Uh-huh. And that's okay? Does that answer your question? Hi, I'm Carol Cutter, and here at Sweet Relief, we believe letting go leads to true health. Oh. <coughs> Hold on, I'm gagging. True health. True health is what I was going to say. Hi, I'm Tony Pancheesi, owner of DIY Spaghetti Emporium, where DIY stands for do it yourself. I mean it. I don't have any staff, so you're doing everything in this restaurant for yourself. And my name isn't Tony Pellucci. Hey, we got room for three table. more. You're cooking your you guys want to join in, if you got log in to the jackbox.tv. So Type you're not in the room code that you see right there. Pass back I'm dog. There and wait on that two top in section four. Nobody ducks out. Seen the state of those bathrooms? One of the women's toilets has a could choke a horse. So if you're ready for a home cooked Italian meal and earn half the minimum wage, come on down to DIY Spaghetti and Ask Rachel Hanrahan. Uh, could we get one of the writers in here for some more pre-written show announcements? I feel like I've said some of these a couple times already. So I realize I've forgotten my bag, and I go back into the office to get it. And there they are, all the security guards dressed up like us, shouting our catchphrases. Go. Uh, Penelope, Penelope, do you think that that's how your costume is supposed to look? Really, you do. No good, this is Glug Light Spill. Glug Light Spill is the only light beer that tastes like beer without as many calories as beer. Sit ups and lifting rocks, punching cops right in the teeth. When Glug Light Spill bottles are empty, no beer comes out, so you know it's empty every time. Wearing shorts, sweating a lot, hoping this will get Jenny back. Glug Light Spill comes in a bottle with its name on the label, so you don't get confused or give it to a baby. Rock hard abs and glistening pecs. Here we got Drinking beer while exercising. Getting tips and massive chafing. No pain, no gain. Be a cool tattoo. Get dehydrated. Don't take breaks. Water shows the babes your weakness. Must get babes to make Jenny jealous. Jenny must know you're doing all right. Glug Light Spelt. Glug Light. Hey, Jerry. Doing a little yard work? Oh, yeah. Just got some new garden gnomes. New garden? Oh, my. Look at the size of that garden gnome's d 
Oh, I see you noticed my gnome's giant package. I should have mentioned, these aren't regular garden gnomes. They're well-endowed garden gnomes from Gnome Mine. I'm gonna I play one more game set. here. Python Petey, Busty Barbara, let's and make my it, personal let's make it favorite, fun here. Giant Balls McGillicuddy. So, Log what do you think, Log jackbox.tv. I, I away. Hey, boys, what's talking about? download, Sarah, uh, and, uh, over here. Hey, Daddy. Ooh, the room code. Go. Kids, get in the house. Gnome My well-endowed garden gnomes from the people who brought you lawn globes with nipples. Once again, okay, big shout out to Mike Builder. Hi, I'm Mike General Builder, Man. General Manager of Jackbox Games. We've been hard there at work is. coming up with new ways that you and your friends and family can play You Don't Know Jack. Don't have a lot of game controllers? Not a problem, because you can play this very game using your phone or tablet as a controller. But that's just the beginning. In the coming years, it's my hope that instead of using a regular controller, you'll be able to play our games using a regular TV remote, a calculator, a block of wood with buttons crudely drawn onto it, or even a garage door opener. But why stop there? We're hard at work making game controllers out of shoes, coffee table books about Paris, electric toothbrushes, farts, family pets, and maybe someday your own mind. My coworkers tell me that most of these are technically impossible, but we already have it working on phones and tablets, and luckily I don't entirely know what the word impossible means. I think the word possible is in there somewhere, so that sounds promising. So if you love You Don't Know Jack, hopefully you'll eventually be playing our other games like I love, I love and Everybody Help Grandma, using Jack just Box a half-eaten turkey sandwich as a controller. I'm Mike Builder, and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. My name is Jaden Funk, and I want to teach you slam poetry. Jackbox games cheap, are right? awesome. Cheap like a toy meat in oh, it goes back to when I first played You Know Jack five, like you don't know Jack in the mid '90s, mid 1990s. It was. I since then I've I've loved You Don't Know Jack, and I'm I'm such a huge fan of this game. It's like I love it. As a matter of fact, you know what? I have something to show everybody. Welcome to heaven. The most powerful words to prove that that. I'm not so lying here. Isn't cheap, but I got something to show you. Fifty dollars for right the eight-week session at the Rosewood Adult Learning Center. Hope to see you there. Okay, Koki, we think we have the scorpion problem under control. Finally, I can put my shoes back on. Oh my God! Well, that's the thing. There was gluten in all of the donuts I brought in this morning. So if she's so allergic to it, why isn't she dead now? Marcus, to set. Marcus, you are 17 minutes late for your call. Marcus, to set. Is anyone here like a, a throbbing? That's the best way I can describe it. Just like a throbbing sound. Like a, a deep throbbing. Whoa, dude. What the f*** are you eating, man? Just some f***ing baby carrots, bro. Whoa! But they look like big carrots, only way f***ing smaller. That's just f***ing it. I don't have time to f***ing eat an adult f***ing carrot, but with baby carrots, I can pop one in and be on my way. No Check this out, you're not gonna way. believe this. Baby carrots. They're so f***ing tiny. I had this for the original PlayStation. That's how far back um, Are you we're moving? talking about. You need I also had the PC. I also had PC, uh, the PC versions of the game. Uh, you don't know Jack the Ride. My personal favorite you the is, it's of course, no You Don't Know Jack about the movies. Okay? Um, it was a movie so edition. And I think I had a, so, I think I had a sports one, too. Um, I did have television. I did have the You Don't Know Jack television. I don't know. Seriously, that that, that was phone. that was awesome. And speaking of that, I, you, I was Dad. actually I one of the you, one of the few who actually loved the television show that was hosted by also, Paul Rubens. Okay That's yourself. how far back I'm ta we're talking here. And uh, okay, oh, excuse me. And it was a, it, it's such a it's such a fun fun uh, fun game. And this game could be played with virtually everybody. And so far, I'm the only one who's 
who's playing alone right now. So, you know, this room, this room here is uh, got got three got three empty spots open available there. So, uh, come on in and join in. Going to have uh, got time for one more game. If not, I'm just going to uh, play solo. No matter myself. who you are, you have dreams. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a doctor. A dinosaur. And Angie's Ice Creamery wants to hear them. Come into any Angie's to tell us your dream, and you'll get a dreamsicle absolutely free. I want to be a teacher. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be a surfer. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be best friends with a horse. Here's a free dreamsicle. Is this where we tell the dreams? It sure is. I'm standing naked, looking into a mirror. My face is not my own. A small fire burns beside me and I face it. A young calf slowly melts into the Dang. flames. It looks at me and speaks. This is what... So is everybody having a great weekend? Says, and then I'm in a field of dreams. So far... I move my legs, but steadily I go forward. Forward through the tall grass towards a grave. I cannot read it, See but what I happens. do not need to. This grave is Saturday. Mine. Then I wake up. Saturday is all about um, having fun and having a yes, having do. a good time. Yes, everything and now. there's We're no better place than happy. right here. <laughs> Angie's ice creamery. It's on a this very moment. Too. The perfect cup of coffee. With that's what we pour at High Horse Coffee House. But it's not for everyone. Your friend, frankly, your taste buds Tom probably can't appreciate how complex right here and our coffee is. And you know on what? Twitch. It angers us to think of you drinking it. Okay, there it is. There, and hey, see, let's right take there. it a step further. We despise you. Our coffee or, is amazing and or complex. Or wherever and it's the like Twitch logo from is another at. Maybe it's like dimension, right there in the very it top right-hand corner of the... Oh, I would rather top right-hand corner of your of computer. Than let it touch your tongue. That's right. You or lower than your tablet. Or piles, so stay or away. You just stay away, or so help me, I won't be held responsible for my actions. Various consoles. So remember that's High Horse Coffee. Come on in. Historic Join no, in you know on what? the fun. You. Got room for three more peeps. Come on in. Put your feet up. Take your shoes off. Have some. Have some apple pucker or Jaeger, whichever, whichever you desire. Oh, <laughs> well, we got room for three more. Got room for three more. Come on. So you want to join in? Have some fun. Uh, Cookie, no, we didn't install a urinal in the studio, so we're gonna send someone into cleaning that up. And not my problem. In time here. Need Come some on. Help with my zipper. Got a few Sick more minutes pajamas. before. It's the new game show that's taken the world by storm. Hosted by none other than Terry St. Pancakes, the only rule of this game is not to say the word it. pajamas. Mr. Edgar Loud Shoes, come on down. I can't believe I don't say pajamas. What was that? You said pajamas. Now please sit down. Uh oh. Remember, don't say pajamas. What do you call clothes that okay. you sleep in? Okay. Ooh, uh, pajamas? <laughs> Nuts! Don't say pajamas. A word that rhymes One more with minute. pajamas. Well, it's not pajamas. Poop. Literally, One all more you have to minute. Do is not say pajamas. Well, remember, 30 seconds in the for final round, you oh. are still not allowed Actually, to no, say screw pajamas. Then I'm gonna go with my glasses. We're, say we're up in it to 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Catch Nine, the action here eight, on. seven, six, five, you all have to leave. four, Hello. three, I'm two, Cassidy. one. Are you, are you I'm playing by myself. I am Cookie Masterson, and I'm a people person. Too it's late. true, I'm actually made of millions of tiny little people. <laughs> Quiet down in there! I'd say it was sad you're playing alone, but you already know that. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Hoarder Helpers! Are you a hoarder? We're here to help you hoard more stuff. Absolutely no psychiatrists on staff. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Okay, no turning back. 
One. Right off the top, London Bridges falling down. In the nursery rhyme, Wee Willy Winky, what's covering up Wee Willy Winky's Wee Willy? The nightgown he's wearing, the wolf suit he's wearing, the wooden shoe he's sailing in, or nothing, he's completely nude. Sicko. Ah! Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. The first line of the nursery rhyme goes, Wee Willy Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs, in his nightgown. He's wearing a nightgown. Presumably that's what's covering up his Wee Willy. Look, some nursery rhyme guys are showers, and some nursery rhyme guys are growers. Why not try? Zombies never get old. What might you see in a television show called The Balking Dead? An army of zombies walking backwards, a horde of zombies walking in circles, a swarm of zombies walking on tiptoe, or a legion of zombies refusing to walk at all? If the dead are balking, that means they've stopped short or are refusing to move forward for some reason. <laughs> kind of like the plot of Walking Dead Season 2. <laughs> It's time for, I'll preheat my oven to 450 degrees when I'm dead. And we're cooking up a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a type of burial plot available in a cemetery, or if it's a type of tombstone frozen pizza. If it's a type of burial plot, oh my the X God. If it's a type of tombstone pizza, Press the B button. All right, let's get started. Single. Companion. Family. Double top. Half and half. Original. Brick oven style. That performance was dead right out of the gate. <laughs> When I die, I want to be cremated, but not just in any oven, in a pizzazz pizza oven. That way every part of me is cooked evenly. <laughs> Let's try... Zack and Miri make a board game. What do Seth Rogen and the game Trivial Pursuit have in common? They were both created in the 70s, they were both created by a Jewish woman, they were both created in Canada, or they were both created by accidents. <laughs> Here's where the money is. Hey, Seth 69, Rogen was born in Vancouver, Canada, and Trivial Pursuit was created in Montreal, Canada. And another thing Seth Rogen and Trivial Pursuit have in common. Ah, uh, no, that's about it. Up next, Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, <laughs> Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo. or Uranus? Steven Spielberg modeled one-third of E.T. after this subject. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? <laughs> Were you thinking of this one? E.T. was an amalgamation of Ernest Hemingway, Carl Sandburg, and Albert Einstein. Yeah, he definitely has Einstein's neck. That'll wrap up round one. And you haven't screwed up entirely just yet. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. Okay, how about it? And on its way, I've been framed. So I've been looking at this print of the Mona Lisa a lot lately, and people always talk about her little half smile, but I've become obsessed with something else. What the hell is the Mona Lisa looking at? Something to her right, something to her left, something straight ahead, or something behind her? Sometimes something that feels so right can be so wrong. Allow me. The Mona Lisa is looking over to her left. 
which is weird because there's nothing over there but my far side calendar. Nobody's found that interesting in years. Question seven. This one's known as what's black and black and black all over. If during a battle of wits with the Riddler, Batman were unable to solve the riddle of the Sphinx, what might the Riddler say to mock him? Looks like you're not as smart as Oedipus, Bat Breath. You're certainly no Anubis, Bat Brain. You're dumber than Socrates, Bat Bungler. Or even in the Greek play Oedipus the King, Oedipus is the only one capable of answering a devious riddle posed by a murderous Sphinx. You know the Riddler has lost his touch when he starts asking riddles anyone could just look up on Wikipedia. <laughs> Here's a good one. Get your mind out of the gutter ball. Oh no. And if you knock down a right answer here, I'll roll some extra cash your way. Put these bowling pin arrangements in order of most to fewest pins left standing. 710 split, dinner bucket, Christmas tree. Dinner bucket, Christmas tree, 710 split, Christmas tree, 710 split, dinner bucket, Christmas tree, dinner bucket, 710 split, or dinner bucket, 710 split, Christmas gutter ball. <laughs> now pay attention. A dinner bucket is when there are four pins left standing, the two, four, five, and eight pins. A Christmas tree is three pins left standing, either the two, seven, and ten, or the three, seven, and ten. And in a seven, ten split, there are, of course, two pins left standing, the seven and ten pins. All those oh, numbers hurt my brain. That's why I usually let the bowling computer do it for me. I also let the bowling computer do my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have All Men Must Die, somewhere around episode 9. If the leading cause of death in the Game of Thrones universe were the same as the leading cause of death in the modern world, what spoilerish comment would you most likely read on the internet? Hey, did you know Arya dies of malaria? Jon Snow gets killed in a car crash, for reals. Yeah, Daenerys basically just has a stroke and dies. Or, guess what? Tyrion ends up dying of heart disease. Killing 7 million people a year, heart disease is the leading cause of death worldwide. <laughs> Of course, as we know, the actual leading cause of death in Game of Thrones is struggling to be a 20-something in New York. Oh, wait, that's, that's girls. I always get HBO shows mixed up. <laughs> um. Say hello to... Melts in your pretty mouth. Based on the gender roles assigned by the Mars Company, which M&M's character could give birth to an M&M's mini? Red, yellow, blue, or green? For whatever reason, red, yellow, orange, and blue M&M's are male, and brown and green are female. It's the female ones that have nuts that confuse me. You do not want to be in the hospital room when an M&M gives birth. Sure, they melt in your mouth, not in your hands, but I'm telling you, those mini M&Ms are pretty melty when they come out of the birth canal. Welcome. Well, don't mind me then. Here's your clue. Getting the beast of me. What animal are you surrounded by? Good luck.
I really don't know. started uh not getting any any other players in there so uh who knows maybe next week who knows maybe next week we got we're gonna have four games to choose from this time starting neck um starting next week um it will be fibbage xl lice water word spud or drawful since we already played You Don't Know Jack, we don't have to worry about You Don't Know Jack at all next week. So, But we are going to choose from either Drawful, Word Spud, Lice Water, or Fibbage. So, so that will be next week. And we're going we're gonna to have some fun with that. Alright, so till next time, this is Tom Dog saying take care. So long and peace.